In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for PbNO3 2 plus H2S. This is lead to nitrate, and this is either hydrogen sulfide gas, or if it's aqueous, it would be hydrosulfuric acid. It really doesn't matter too much to us because it's a weak electrolyte. We're not going to split it apart in our net ionic equation. Let's balance the molecular equation first, though. I see I have two of these nitrate ions here and only one over here. Let's put a two in front of the nitric acid. So now we have two nitrates. We have two hydrogens. That's good. We have two hydrogens here. Sulfur, sulfur, lead, lead. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. Nitrates are very soluble. I'm going to say AQ. It's going to split apart into its ions. Let's just say that this is a gas. Either way, it's not going to split apart. PBS, sulfides in general are insoluble, and lead compounds are usually insoluble as well. So this is going to be insoluble. We're going to call this a solid. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube. This will be a precipitation reaction. And nitric acid, that's a strong acid, so that'll dissolve, dissociate. It's going to be aqueous. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So lead, we don't know its charge. It's a transition metal. But the nitrate ion, the whole thing is 1 minus. 2 times the 1 minus, that's 2 minus. This has to be 2 plus. So we have the lead 2 ion. I'll write the states later. And then 2 of these nitrate ions. For the H2S, we said that this is a gas, or if it was aqueous, it wouldn't matter because it's a weak electrolyte. So we don't split gases or weak electrolytes apart into their ions. It's just H2S. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart either. So this is just going to be PBS plus hydrogen group 1 has a 1 plus ionic charge with a nitrate. We said 1 minus 2 hydrogen ions and then 2 nitrate ions. And this is the complete ionic equation for lead 2 nitrate plus hydrogen sulfide gas. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. I'm looking for something that's the same on both sides. Here in the reactants, I do have two nitrate ions. And in the products, I have two nitrate ions. And that leaves us with the net ionic equation for PBNO3 2 plus H2S. Let me clean it up, write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for lead 2 nitrate plus this hydrogen sulfide gas. It wouldn't matter too much if this was aqueous. The only thing that would be different is this would be AQ. H2S is a weak electrolyte, so it's not going to dissociate. If you notice, we have a 2 plus on this side, and then a 2 times 1 plus. So 2 plus over here, charge is conserved. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for PbNO32 plus H2S. Thanks for watching.